I spent $256 on this limited edition Coca-Cola PSP 1000. It's in rougher condition for scratches and all that. So let's open it up and install an IPS kit. I just have to pop this home bar up. Start opening, or start removing the screen from the top right side, we'll go bottom side, and kind of shift it to the side. Pop the tabs up. Now, since with this motherboard version, we just have to bridge these two points right here. The really small ones. It's supposed to have that slightly down. And then you need a very fine tip soldering iron, preferably with adjustable temp. And the temp I like to use is 220. Then this part is mostly just technique for getting it done. And it should be good. Now you just have to grab the IPS screen. I'll have a link to it in the description of where you can buy it from on my website. If you happen to get an adapter cable that has like a metal backing, it's supposed to put like some type of tape just on the back side so you don't short something out. And then with most IPS kits, you're not going to be able to fully close down the tab without potentially breaking it. Certain motherboard versions, you can close the tab fully and then not feel a lot of stress, but this, this version, you don't put it all the way down. Then you just have to set it back down. You're mostly just lining this up kind of into this area. It doesn't necessarily have to fully tuck in, but just somewhat line it a little bit, just so that it fits better. And then you just have to put the gas, the rubber dust guard thing on. And then these are always too big for the lineup. So it's best to just cut it at the corners and trim, trim it down a little bit. And you just trim right there to the top side. Trim that a little bit for the bottom. And 
Then I'll give the faceplate a little bit of a spray of compressed air to clean it off a bit. I just gotta put the screws in and try it out. Camera doesn't really like to pick it up all that well for the IPS screen, but it's quite a bit brighter. And then for the IPS screen, if you tilt it on the like the side, you can actually see. You still see like the display. On like regular 1000 screens, you're not gonna be able to see that. It's just gonna look like a blur. And this mod is fully reversible. You just have to remove the solder a little bit and just install OEM screen. There you go.